Greetings, WordPressers. In today's show, how to make your recent post lists look a little bit special. Jackson here, welcome to my channel. This is where I share my tips and tricks and present some tutorials all about WordPress. And if WordPress is your type of thing, then please do go ahead and consider subscribing if you are new here. And check out the description below. It's got all the show notes, links, and other bits and pieces about all the stuff we're gonna be talking about today. Plus, there is a link, a download link, to get hold of a copy of my free ebook, a guide to my top 10 plugins of all time for WordPress. Anyway, on with the show. So, recent post lists. You know on your blog, in your sidebar, you're likely to have a list of recent posts. Now, normally, default-wise, or with WordPress, that is normally just a, a list of titles. Well, with this Wicked plugin, I'll show you how to make that look a ton better with images and better looking text and a whole bunch of groovy stuff. So let's get on with this tutorial. Much better looking latest post list with the latest post extended plugin. All right, let's go and check out this recent post extended plugin. Here we have our demo site, the Cento theme, and we do have a blog page with a blog list and on the right hand sidebar, a recent posts widget. Now this is the default WordPress widget. It comes with a WordPress install. If we head over to the back end and go to appearance and widgets menu, we will see there in front of us the recent posts widget. That's the standard WordPress one. We're going to supercharge this little fella. So we're going to go to plugins, add new and go grab the text name for our awesome recent post extended plugin. We'll paste that into the keyword search. And there it is the first on our list. We're going to click the install now button. And once it's installed, hit that activate. And let's see what we've got. Well, there's no real settings page for this plugin, but if we head back to our appearance menu and the widgets sub menu, we will see a new widget in our available widget section over here, the recent posts extended. So let's drag that into our sidebar. And as it opens up, you see that we have got a ton more features to play with. But right now I'm not gonna change anything. Let's just scroll down and click that save button and see what that looks like on the front end. And then we're gonna come back and do a little bit of tweaking. So let's get back to our front end blog page and give that a refresh. And immediately straight out of the box, this plugin is looking a ton better than its predecessor. The main thing being is that it's got that great image. Okay, the text is a bit small and maybe the image could be bigger, but you can do all that. You can change all that stuff back on the admin. So let's go back to our admin and that page we had open. And let's have a quick skim through these settings. Now here's the title and you can even give that a clickable URL if you like. You can add different classes and IDs. You can put some HTML text above and below it. But let's be honest, what we want to do is just star what's already there. So we're going to leave all that blank. You can tweak your to your heart's content at your leisure. Now the second column is kind of like the filter for what you want the thing to display. And not only is it posts that it can display, you can actually display different pages or even post types. It's absolutely mega. Then you've got some settings for the status of the post, some ordering stuff, and even limiting it by categories and tags and sometimes even taxonomies. Amazing stuff. We're going to leave it on posts and look at this third column. And this is kind of where we're going to be dealing with most of the settings today. So number of posts to show, right, fine. Offset, we're going to leave that as zero. Display thumbnail, yes, checked. We're already doing that. Now we thought that could be a little better a little bigger. So let's make it 60. We like it aligned to the left. There's a thumbnail placeholder image if you don't have an image for your post that you're putting in that list, but you should do. And then we can display the excerpt. Now I'm going to leave all this for a second and just click save and just see what the difference is to our front end once we give that a refresh. And there's our slightly bigger image. Very nice. Now let's get this text a bit larger. So on this page, you will see that there is some CSS here at the bottom. Now this is the default CSS that you can edit as much as you like, change that CSS, add to it, etc. So if we untick the use default styles checkbox, that means the plugin will look at whatever is in here, which is at the moment is the default CSS. So the first thing we were gonna do was change the, whoa, the, the title text, which is this H3, and we're gonna just change that to 
18 pixels and we'll save that and take a look at what that looks like now refresh yeah that's a ton better but there's so much more you can do let's have a little play with the image settings we're going to change it to being in the center and then what that will do is it will put above the title text Let's refresh that. So there you go, image above title text, but clearly it's got to be a bit wider. So let's go and change that. We'll maybe make it uh, roughly, that's got to be about 250 pixels. Let's make it 260. And the height, we'll just make that kind of like a bit more letterbox. Let's save that and refresh our front end. And we've got another great looking display. We can also do stuff like add the excerpt, which is basically the excerpt that you put into your post or page, or it will take the first part of the text that's on the post or the page. Let me just knock that up to 25. And in fact, I think we'll just put that back to the left. And I think we'll make that square again. Then we've got this display read more. And what this will do, we'll put a read more link underneath the excerpt text. So let's save that and have a look at our front end, see what we have got. Refresh that. And look, awesome stuff in comparison to what was there before, 10 times better. So there you go. I've been using this for years and years and years, and I really, really love it. Great little plugin. So there you go, the recent posts extended plugin. It's a cracker. I've been using it for tons of years, really love it. But what's your favorite thing when it comes to working with recent post lists? Do you have a favorite plugin or other tips and tricks you would like to share with the channel? Get your comments in below. But until next time, I shall see you later. <laughs>